Warzone solos are notoriously hard for most players, but in today's video, I'm going to be covering the easiest strategy and the best tips on how you can win almost every single time. If you find this video valuable and you wouldn't be opposed, I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. But either way, this is the best tips to win Warzone solos. To start things off, the first thing you want to do is just find yourself a nice little, uh, well, probably one of these. I think that's going to be the best one we can go to. I think we're probably going to run into people. A scavenger with the new change to BR solos. I mean, getting rid of Vanguard Royale. It means that you can get your loadout whenever you can. Like, literally, whenever it's available, you can get it. Like, money-wise. Okay, of course. Okay, guys. I think we're probably gonna run into people. Okay, listen, there's a guy in here. Luckily, he ran away. He's gonna keep running, right? Running? Okay, so I'm just kind of putting myself in a power position right now because I'm gonna have to take out this guy because I, I have the ego of a certified freak. The wings and pizza. Oh, let me get shot in the back. Uh, it's a hot start. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's all about positioning. Uh, the way that I play and the way that I win in Warzone solos is it's all based on positioning. Come here. Where did this guy go? I'm so confused. I'm like ego challenging this guy. But here's the truth. I, you probably shouldn't do this. Come on. <laughs> okay. What a start, dude. There's just like so much happening right now. It's like hard to breathe when you're in solos. So let me step you through this. The way that I play is basically all positioning. I try and put myself in the best possible position, which is why you'll see me do stuff like that. Hopping on top of roofs. A lot of this stuff, like, you know, the, the beginning of the game, it's hard to teach. It's it's something that really you want like a whole, a whole masterclass of, of things for that. So it's gonna take a while for me to be able to teach you like hot drops. And when you hit a hot drop, like how to react to that. So really what ends up happening is when I hot dropped right there, my first goal and my really only goal was to grab a weapon before anyone else that was around me. Because if I can do that, in most cases, I'll be able to come out as the victor. But sad to say, that's not always the case. Sometimes you can literally just get two punch dropped and that's it. Sorry, bud, you're done. Oh, you're done. Either way, right now, I'm going back and I'm trying to get done with the thing that I had originally started doing, which is getting the scavenger. And again, the reason why is because as soon as you get enough money for it, you can buy your loadout. You don't have to wait for it to just drop in anymore, which is so, so much better. It takes us back to the old Verdance days. And I think slowly people are going to begin to like Caldera a little more once they understand it. But the thing is, is you really do need to know that this is harder. It is much harder than Verdansk ever was. One, skill-based matchmaking does seem to be a little higher on just like regular BRs solos and stuff like that and this is you know no different obviously i just ran into four people in the middle of the open you know so what you want to end up doing is just trying to position yourself that's what everything is is just positioning in all cases is going to be how you win games so that's what i'm doing my first goal is to get my loadout once i get my loadout we wait for the second loadout i mean we don't have to like physically like wait but like you know just vibe out There's a guy right here. He's not even paying attention. I have no idea how we got away with that. Just toss the loadout. Ooh. See, again, like sniping, I do have a video that just came out about sniping, but in this video, we are not going to be sniping. Sniping in Caldera is something else.
right there. I'm using the positioning of the car. That guy stunned me. My first thought is I've got to get to this car. I've got to get to this car. I got to put myself in a better position because if I don't, I'm going to die. So what I, what I did is once I got stunned, I immediately started pushing to that car. You've got to get yourself some cover. You got to use something to get yourself out of that situation. So that's exactly what I did. I saw the car right there and I thought quick. Just like, let's say you get hit by a thermite. If you are able to go ahead and hit a stim shot before that thermite, a thermite uh, finishes killing you, then the thermite will actually run out before you die because the stim shot saved you. So it, it's really cool because now you don't necessarily die to thermites that were before an immediate kill. But right here, we're at the edge of the circle. I've got a bounty on me. At this point, I'm not like super stressed. And this is kind of how I play all of my games. I realize not everyone can do it because you don't have gun skill, but I'm going to have videos covering how to have better gun, school, gun, gun skill very soon. So don't stress about that. But it looks like there's no one up here. We're able to kind of look through, look around. You want to just kind of check all your angles here. Looks like there's a guy right down here. I was waiting to see if he's going to pull his shoot. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and drop down. Okay, I know that in most cases, it's probably not a good idea, but that guy, I imagine, is going to be looking for a way to come up. And once he gets out in the open, because I have trigger discipline, drop inbound. once he pushes out in the open, I'll kill him. So look, he's right there. And I got him. That's it. So really, it all comes down to knowing when to shoot your shots in a moment like that. You want to be sure that you're not like over challenging someone that you really don't need to be over challenging. There's a guy down below me. I got myself in a good position and then I pushed. I didn't immediately push down and stuff like that. Like there's a guy right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this balloon and I'm going to try and while I'm in the air to shoot this guy. There's no guarantee that this works, but I'm going to give it a shot. If I can find the guy that was shooting. See? So because I had high ground, he had no idea where I was. I literally was in the sky. That guy had no clue. And now, while the loadout drops still up here, I'm still going to be able to kind of push up there. And yes, I know I'm out in the open. Really, what you want to do is just make sure you keep moving. Whenever you're out in the open, your biggest goal is do not stop. If you stop for a second, you could get sniped. And with snipers being as powerful as they are versus regular weapons, a lot of people are going to start running snipers. And whether or not you're in like a ridiculously good lobby or not, it's going to make a big difference. Now, yes, I have nine kills. And yes, we started with quite a few kills off rip. So just keep that in mind. We're probably going to end the game with quite a few kills. Sorry, I got the hiccups because I'm talking so much. Ah! But like right now, I got a guy shooting at me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put myself over here. I'm going to grab this stun because I can. So he's right there. I don't have any play on him. I have no play. But to be fair, he doesn't have a huge play on me either. Now right here, I have to ask myself, is it worth it to kind of push for the loadout to die and for you guys a lot of you guys should be saying no it's not it's not going to be worth it you should not be pushing this but for me what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and actually use the loadout as cover and as i push up i'm getting shots on and then once i'm over here oh i can't use it as cover oh no oh he's in the sky there it is you're just constantly looking at where that enemy's going. You want to constantly be able to move, but also know where that guy's going to go. And right now, I'm on low ammo. The growl, the only thing about it, while it's very, very good, and I will have the loadout in the video at some point. I'm not sure where. But uh, while the growl is good, it runs through ammo very, very quickly. So if you want to use this class, keep that in mind, especially in solos. You might have to grab yourself a munitions box. So I got a guy shooting me with a like a burst weapon over there which is interesting shot me again what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mark him on the map he's gonna jump off okay when he jumps he pulls the shoot immediately i kind of try to shoot ahead but i'm not gonna waste any more ammo because it's just not worth it so i'm gonna go ahead and hit this i was gonna try and get over there because i was gonna grab myself a munitions and a self-revive which is probably a good idea when you're playing long range and stuff 
So I'm going to try and hit this. I don't have a gas mask as well. I wonder if I can get a munitions, a gas mask, and a self-revive. That'd be sick. Oh, what am I doing? You got to be kind of quick. Uh, you would... Oh, not that. M munitions. Self-revive. Gas mask. I have 3,800. Grab a little bit of plates as we go. Just loot a little bit. We don't want to loot up a ton because it could put ourselves in a bad spot. But just be quick about it. Now, while I'm flying, I'm constantly looking around. If you want to see one of these with an eye tracker, I'd love to make a video of it. A lot of people have issues with the eye tracker. It gives them a headache. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark both of these. That way I know which one I can grab easier. We're going to grab this one. And it's going to tell me immediately where the closest enemy is. So as I'm pushing in, I know that there's probably a guy on that building right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna launch right at him. I know that this is a little, like I when I play, I play aggressive. I find that it's much more fun when I play aggressive. And I saw him in that window just quickly. So I'm gonna immediately shoot, get him down. He's done for the, down for the count. Now again, we've got a guy up top there. And as much as I'd like to just push straight up, I can't. He's also coming down, so can't do that. There's also a guy on the left. What I'm gonna do Mm, you know what? I might actually push straight up. And the reason why is because I think he killed a guy right there. So if I can get over here fast enough, give me just a second. I'm going to need to stop talking so that I can figure out what I'm doing. Would have been better if I would have pushed the edge. Need to be careful here. I'm going to untag that so I can see. Now, what I would recommend for you guys is to grab this PDS. But if you're using the growl like me, I'm going to have to keep the ammo. Actually, I am going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab that. Need to keep the ammo anyway. Now, if we want to get more kills, I can wait for those guys. But my biggest concern right now is the fact that there was a guy that I saw floating down earlier. I'm sure Matt zoomed in on it so you guys could see it. Uh, but I don't know where he went. And while I ADS, I got to keep in mind, I've got a laser on this gun. Now, while I'm moving, my goal, again, is high ground. High ground. Keep that in mind. Even though I'm pushing in for a lot of kills, I'm still keeping in mind that one thing. Just put yourself in the best position you can. And right now, when I know that I'm down below something that could get me killed, I'm going to kind of try and use that uh, thing to my advantage, actually. Well, I might. Hold on. There's also a most wanted bounty down below. How much money do I have? I have 13.5. We're, we're fine. I don't think I pushed that. It could put me in a bad spot. I'm going to try and make it through this. I'm going to try and get up top here. I hear a bunch of people shooting down below me, but at this point, I'm at 11 kills and stuff. Like, no! Oh, ho, ho. okay. I need to walk you through that because the chances of that happening is so slim. I heard him move just a hair and he was just sitting in this bush. But what ended up happening is I got stuck on a rock, which should have killed me, but it didn't. Because of how I positioned myself, what I did is I pulled out my SMG and I hit my stem. Now, I like to run stems because it gives me a little bit of a movement advantage. Oh, there's a guy right over here. I just saw him. I'm going to hit it. There's definitely a guy there. I just don't know where. We need to dodge it a little bit. Because those things are heat-seeking sometimes, I'm telling you. I don't know why. And they always go for me. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. So many times have I been killed by my own cluster just because of heat-seek. Basically. Okay, so I see a recon down on my right. We're going to go ahead and drop down. Go ahead and get right here, and I'm going to hit this, okay? Yep, that's what I thought. I knew, I knew that there was a guy up there. The only issue is now I have to work my way back up just to get this kill, and it could put me in a bad spot. But I'm going to try and keep any cover that I can get here. That means trees, that means rocks, that means anything like that. I think he went inside. I would say he went inside. And the good thing about most wanted bounties is it tells you where everyone is. This guy has no idea. There's a guy right there. There's a ton of people over on this side and we could fight that. But I think what I do is I fight this one guy, get the free kill, go for this big game real quick. Maybe it'll take us to him. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and mark him. So he's like right here. 
Now, I could have had trigger discipline there, but the chances of him trying to fight me right now, pretty slim. Oh, he is actually going for it. Look, he's peeking that right side. We just beam it. We just beam it. All right. And what I did there, you'll notice, is I went ahead and I mounted on this. And, and what that allows me to do is just make sure that I'm not going to miss. Okay. When you're using a gun that has very little recoil, if you mount it, 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 like it's impossible to move the gun. So you just slowly move it to wherever they're at. So now looking at the circle, you want to think about rotations, right? Do you want to slow rotate the edge? Because you know that there's a guy over here. You know, is that what you want to do? In this case, we had an advanced UAV earlier. We know that there's one guy right over here. Okay. There could be another by now because they could have rotated there. But I'm not 100% sure. I have genuinely no idea. And I'd love to go find another UAV, but it's not going to happen. So we technically should let this guy rotate into us. That would be the best play for us. I don't know why it desaturates right there. It's so very odd. But what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to get a little closer. I'm probably going to use this rock here. Hopefully he doesn't see me. He's He actually just saw me for sure. Oh, he just... That's a different guy, actually. I'm going to wait and see if this guy pushes that body. I see him. He's right there. What I'm doing is I'm trying to shoot just any part of his body that I can. He's going to peek out left. It was good plays on his part. It was good plays on his part. I should not really push out again out into the edge of this, the map or anything. But we've got an advanced UAV. We know what's going on. We know that there's a guy right here. Our next target is, is what we should be playing. I could grab another big game, but as soon as I go down there, it puts me at a high disadvantage. So I'm not going to do it. I'm also going to sneeze. Hold on. Ah! So we've got a guy down there. He's probably just vibing out. My concern right now is that I could just fly at him to get there quicker. And in fact, I might actually do that as long as he's not looking in the sky. I don't know what he was looking at. Luckily, he didn't hear me. I don't know. Some of the... You ever just like... You're playing Warzone and you realize that like some of the people in the game just don't have headsets. Like these guys are using their TVs. 100%. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you can tell the difference when someone has a headset. Because I would have heard that that guy was literally on me. I mean, maybe. Sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. So right here, I'm kind of just clearing the edge. I don't want to get shot from the back. So I'm going to go ahead and take this edge here. I should be watching my back right now, but I'm trying to get high ground on this rock so that I have a little bit of cover from that side. And I think I'm good. So what I can do is I could push to that balloon. Yeah, that balloon might be the play. But I think we slow roll this in now. I think we just slow roll it in. We don't overthink it. We don't ego challenge things that we don't need to. And we just hold the edge. Just watch each side as you come in. I know a lot of people don't think that I look left or right. A lot of the time, I'm just like full focus on kills. But like right now, I'm more focused on a win, you know? So if I full focus kills, I end up dying. Also, mine's the only one there. We're going to have to push in is the only bad part. The question is, do we want to push to a place that they have a ton of cover? Or do we want to push something that's a little more out in the open, but we have no cover? In most cases, I'm taking the one that has no cover. Because people can rat out. And I just am not a big fan of people just like hiding. It's just, like, it is my biggest toxic trait is I can't stand it when people are camping. And I, I get it. You know, it's it's like a strategy. And I might have a video that covers camping pretty soon. And whether or not it's like a, it's a good strategy or whatever. But I'm just kind of slowly pushing up. I'm going to double mark this and double mark this on the map. That way I know where they were. Oh, no. I didn't have trigger discipline. What I'm going to have to do is just rotate out fully. You need to watch my back a little bit as I do it. You're going to have to rotate all the way over here. And the reason why is now that that guy knows that I'm here, he's going to be expecting me. So if I put myself in a different position, he's going to have no idea. At least I hope. Unless he has, uh, 
Unless he has, what is it called? A heart beat sensor, which is now in the game. So, like in BR solos or whatever. So he's got position. I mean, that's the truth of it. And the guys that are in there are going to have to come out. But I can slow roll this in. Hopefully I don't put myself in too bad of a position over here. I'm just kind of keeping a... Oh. Thought I saw something. It might have been some leaves. Sometimes you have to decide whether or not it's good to either like, you know, vibe out and wait. And in this situation, I think it might be. Just kind of listen a little bit. Ah! What I want to do is probably just back up a little bit. My reasoning for that is that I, again, still know that there's going to be people on the right. I don't want to get a kill. I just want to get the information. Okay. That's kind of what I'm playing for right now is information. There's six players remaining. We have 16 kills. We don't need to over challenge. We don't need to overthink. We just need to stay calm. And when someone pops up on the map, you know that one guy's there. He's got to be fighting someone else. So that immediately tells you where two people are at. Actually, one just died. So one guy's right there. I'm pushing up just a hair. For me, this is a little too hot. Too hot. A little too hot for me. Hello there. I just saw a guy. I hope Matt freeze framed and then like looked at him because he's right here. He was sitting like right there. I don't need anything that he has. We're good on ammo and everything. Don't need to push his body. Four players remaining. Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. It's not too bad for me. Okay, four players. What I'm gonna try and do is rotate this edge. We're gonna back it up immediately. You wanna put yourself away from where the body was. Need to reload. I should have reloaded first, to be honest. I'm gonna hit this guy's plates. I'm gonna push over to the right. I'm gonna try and get cover. Someone's probably already over there. And to play against that guy is not what I want. I'm trying to keep my hands from being sweaty. Just kind of listening right now. Ah! I'm keeping the edge. Watching every angle that I can. Slowly creep up. As soon as that guy starts shooting me, it gives away my position for both players. And I try and center my aim on where that guy would be. My concern right now is the guy on the left. Because if he pushes up to me, I'm done. Okay, so they're fighting right now. One v one situation. I'm gonna chuck that knife. We got a knock, and then we push up. And we want to hit our stem. That way, we can get over to him as fast as physically possible. And we throw a knife, and that's it. That's how you win. GGs, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, if you want to see another video like this, or you want to learn how to snipe. I'm gonna have a sniper video on screen right now for you guys to click.